Hi, my name is Cassie and I'm typically the person behind the camera, but this time I wanted to show you my Nixie tube clock build. It mostly works. It all started when I bought this old CB radio tester off eBay. I thought it would be a really cool base for a Nixie tube clock, so I bought a kit and tubes off eBay as well from some sellers in Eastern Europe. The board fit perfectly on the CB radio tester, so I got to work on putting together the kit. This kit has a lot of parts, and I am no engineer, so it took me a couple days to solder this all together since I didn't realize how long it'd take me in one sitting. There was a lot of soldering, and this was the first kit I'd really ever put together start to finish. The build mostly consisted of me looking at poorly lit photos of the steps and hoping for the best. I did end up having to move some resistors around, which was frustrating, but once I finished the kit, I had Sean look over my soldering job, clean it up a bit, and test it. So far, so good at that point, with demo code cycling through the LEDs. Next was putting on the tubes. These are definitely the coolest pieces of hardware I've seen, but I really never want to work with them ever again. If you build one, I highly recommend having someone help you hold them into place while you solder them, because I didn't, and by the end I wanted to throw this at a wall. Luckily, when I tested it all together, it looked pretty good. Four out of six is a win for me, and I'm not even sure if those other two aren't lit up on purpose for the demo code. Next, I got some help from a couple employees who know how to properly cut metal, so I took apart the CB radio tester and drilled holes for the Nixie tubes. Sadly, the holes weren't large enough, so I learned how to Dremel out a rectangle and file it. After taking all the guts out of the base, this was the moment of truth if the board fit. And it didn't. So back to Dremeling the rectangle wider, filing it down again, and drilling a hole in the back to allow the power cable to plug in. And finally, it fits. All I have left is to upload the code for it to connect to the Wi-Fi in order to work like an actual clock. If you want more information on this project, check out my blog at sparkfun.com. And if you plan to build your own, all I can say is good luck and keep on soldering. Thanks. This is already weird. <laughs> Probably turn this off before it blows up. Cool. <laughs> How does Chris and Feldy do this so easily? Hey, now look. Oh, there you go.